to the developing story of the Westlands mystery eviction. Detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigation have begun investigations into the disputed one-acre prime parcel of land located along School Lane in Westlands, Nairobi. According to Niraj Shah and his wife Avani Shah, they were the legal occupants since their lease to the land, which was allegedly bought by a private company in 2010, expires in 2048. The couple has condemned the demolition of their 80 million Kenya shillings property by a mob allegedly deployed by the private developer. Meanwhile, parties to the matter, among them Lariak Properties Limited and their advocate Edwin Nanyuki, together with Zakaria Baraza, have been ordered to appear before Judge Oscar Angote of the Environment and Land Court on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. for further directions. Safin Ocheng with more details. Tuesday afternoon in Westlands, Nairobi. Even on Sunday. A devastated Niraj Shah and his wife, Avani Shah, show me what has been left of their home. I used to call this a home until Friday morning. And today, I can't even call it a home. It's a shamble. For over 40 years, the Shahs have called this home a property worth about 80 million shillings, which now looks nothing close to its former self. You know, it's questionable because my father had renewed this lease in 1998 and is valid for 50 years. So it's going to expire in 2048. And they claim they bought the land in 2010. So we're questioning, bought from who? How? How did they do it? How did they transfer the land to themselves? It's a bit calm today, still heavily guarded by the police. A contrast of the tension that was witnessed here for the last four days, which saw the Shah's home brought down by a mob allegedly deployed by a private developer who is laying claim over the one-acre parcel of land located along School Lane. According to Avani Shah, a man named Zakari Baraza showed her a document purporting that a private company named Lariak Properties had bought the land from Metro Pharmaceuticals in 2010. The Shahs, however, maintain that they are the legal occupants since their lease to the land is still valid adding that they are in possession of a court order dated 1st November 2022, which directs that the plaintiff be restrained from trespassing and interfering with the couple's possession of the land. The right procedure is for them to go to the police, get the assistance, and come with the police. There's a procedure to follow if you have to evict someone. Do you understand? And there's nothing. None of those procedures were followed. This is our home, our life. Kenya is our country. But then how... How can we not be served justice in our own country? The couple claims that the eviction was executed without following due process and their efforts to seek help from authorities, including the area police, hit a deadlock. If I'm supposed to construct this house again, it will cost me more than 80 million, which I can't even do it. I don't have that much money. What do I do now? Where do I stay? I'm homeless. Physically, financially, we're, we're finished. We're finished. Our children are living away from us because we don't want them exposed to this. They're totally heartbroken. I don't even know how, how they, they're going to even get on with life. A search by the Registrar of Companies shows that Lariak Properties was registered in 2002 and has four directors, namely Nathaniel Kipkemboy Bar Masai, Samuel K. Chepkorn, John Kamayoa Rotich and Joel Kiplangat, who sources say are connected to a high-profile person. Our efforts to speak to the officers from the Directorate of Criminal Investigation who are present proved futile, and we only managed to establish that they were there to commence investigation into the land saga. Meanwhile, Lariak Properties Limited and their advocate, Mr. Edwin Nanyuki of Zeriba and Company Advocates and Zakaria Baraza have been directed to appear before the Environment and Land Court tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.